Hello. I'm going to read you a story by Lindley Dodd, and it's called Harry McCleary's Rumpus at the Vet. Down at the vets, there were all kinds of pets, with troubles and woes from their ears to their toes. Sniffles and snuffles and doses of flu, itches and stitches and tummy ache too. So many animals, watchful and weary, and Harry McCleary from Donaldson's Dairy. There were miserable dogs, cantankerous cats, a rabbit with pimples and rickety rats, mice with the sneezes, a goat in a rage, and Cassie the cockadoo locked in her cage. Cassie had claws and a troublesome beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. She pulled it so hard that she plucked out a hair, and Harry McCleary jumped high in the air. A bowl of mint a bowl of mice was bundled about. Over it went and the mice tumbled out. Four fussy budgies with grandmother Goff flew out of their cage when the bottom dropped off. Grizzly Macduff with a bottle brush tail leaped out of his basket and over the rail. The Poppadum kittens from Parkinson's place squeezed through an opening and joined in the chase. Barnacle Beasley forgot he was sore. He bumbled and clattered all over the floor. Then Custard the Labrador Muffin McClay and Noodle the Poodle decided to play. They skittled and scampered, they slid all around and bottles and boxes came tumbling down. What a kerfuffle, a scramble of paws, a tangle of bodies, a jumble of jaws. With squawking and yelling and mournful meow, they really were making a terrible row. Out came the vet, I'll fix them, she said, but she tripped on a lead and fell over instead. Geezer the goat crashed into a cage. He butted the bars in a thundering rage. Cassie got mad, she rattled her beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. The end.